Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome back to Into the Breach. We are going to try another timeline. Uh, this time we're going to back with the uh, Rift Walkers, but we are going to paint them in the lovely orange of the uh, the Ravagers. So we have Master Fox as our time traveler, and as Exy as our mech, the Rambling as our, what are you called? Cannon thingy. Brute, there we go. And Matt Allen as our ranged. Let's, what, well, Brute is your class? I, do I even know the name? I don't know. Anyway, the point being, we're going to start now, and we're going to go have some fun. Let's blow up some Vec. Probably do it badly. Uh, we're going to start at Ark, I think, this time. No way in hell I'm letting the Vec take the islands this time. Uh, we will go for Marshall District, because I want the extra power. Burrowing, normal, normal, normal. Protect the emergency batteries. And battle with less than four mech damage. Yeah, we can do this. Right. Well, I'm thinking... That. Okay. Ways we can alter this. Move you to there. I'm going to think for all my moves. Fire here. That pushes you here, which breaks that. Um, also means that you will get shot by you, so that blocks two. You could come up here and punch that one. It leaves you free. So let's do that. See, so I'm going to think all my moves through this time. I've learned. I've learned my lesson. And then punchy punchy. And then you can't really block anything. You could shoot you, but then you'd be shot into that. Or we could shoot you, but then you'd be moved as well. I don't actually want to move you. Uh, guess move to there. And then... End our turn. Ah, you missed. All right, what about you? Uh oh, it's a blasty one. Are they really gonna? They're really gonna. Okay. That's fine by me. I can't. Uh, okay. Well, you move to here for now. This is gonna be easy because they now shoot each other. Um, blow up this tile. Pushes you this way. Or I could just punch you. I'll punch you because then you'll die. And then you are effectively free. Like we could do some damage to a firefly. Yeah. So punch you here. And that does damage there because of the blast. Aha! I keep forgetting volatile. It's not good, but, uh, sure. Who's acting first? You're acting first. Good. Okay, and then we end turn. So you'll shoot you. You'll shoot you. You'll die. You'll explode. Boom. That's fine. We can ignore that. That we can't ignore. That we can't ignore. Right, you need to die. Actually, if we punch you and you move to here and then explode, you'll do damage to the firefly. Which will be helpful. Okay, this is cunning. You, we need to do something about. Um, trying to think what we could do. Uh, 
We could... I kind of want to shoot you to get rid of that volatile. Um, I guess we could use artillery. So we punch you. Boom. Damage that. Uh, you... We move out of the way of that. And then we kill you. Sweet. There we go. That's how it's done. There's a lot of forests on fire. Okay, that needs to be protected. That we need to be able to get out of. actually fairly easy. Uh, so what we do is move to here. We then drop a bomb here. Shifts you this way. Shifts you to there. Then you move up here and you shoot that one and that leaves a punchy punchy free. Yep, that works. Uh, now... I think I will punch you just for fun. Because that gets us a kill and we get experience. Ah, you missed. There we go. And we got the power. Good save. Uh, old town for more power. Protect the coal. Defend the artillery support. Do not kill the volta. Yeah, I think we'll do old town. Also because this time I'll know that I can move the artillery. Because it's actually a unit rather than a stationary thing. Um, special. Uh, protect the coal plant as well. Okay. Let's do this. I see an easy move already. If I blow up that, you go in the water, which is great. You get shifted to there. But it does mean, what can I do with you? I'd have to probably punch you, which would result you hitting my artillery, uh, my, not artillery, my cannon. Not great. Um, no, we could use the artillery. It's a waste of XP to use it on that, but it would work. So if we move you to here... And then you do that. There we go. Kill you. Move you to there. Uh, and we're going to end our turn. Sweet. Good turn. I'd like to say I'm getting better, but that might result in death. can't get to punch you. So we're going to artillery you. No, I can't artillery you. Damn it! I need to move to there to artillery you. Okay, I don't think I can artillery anyone, so I might as well move to there so we're closer. You... How much movement do you have? One, two, three. We could shoot you. Eh. I'll punch you. There we go. And we've got to level up, which is pretty sweet.
Right. Bam. Bam. Good turn, I think. Good turn. Volatile. That threatens the building as well. Well, I could punch you. Then I don't know what we do about you. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is a tough. Oh no, no. Well, no. The artillery can't really shoot. The artillery could shoot you, but that wouldn't really do much. I could kill you via shooting, but then what do we do about you? I'll tell her I'm troop. I kind of want to knock, knock another one into the water because I think there's an achievement on this one for knocking three people into a water in one map. And we could do that. But I don't know how we'd kill you. Okay, so option one, move you to there, no, you fire, bam, you also block that spot. Then, I actually kind of like this, wait, so you, bam, shoot you to there, then we move the artillery to here. Artillery, our own mech, which pushes you that way, pushes you into the water. You get pushed back one. Then you can punch you to... Oh, then you'll die. Okay, well, that's fine. I can kind of dig this. There we go. Watery grave achievement. Um... Move you to there. And then... What do I want to do? I could move to here and block that and punch you. I'd actually want to block that, though. If I block that, hey, I'll take damage, which I don't care about. But also, I can't get experience of killing the unit. And I... Th uh, maybe we should. Maybe we should. Right. End turn. A poor mountain. Okay, um, can't use my artillery, because if I move to there, I'll fire at you and then the building. So the artillery is actually, again, useless. I'm going to move the artillery. Uh, won't move the artillery just yet. Right, what can you do? Not very much. Someone's going to have to tank this blow. Because we can't move you that way. If we move you that way... Actually, no, we could move you that way, move you in there. Can we get the kill? Oh, we can get a kill. This is actually fairly easy, right? So you... Bam. You... That's the end of our turn. Done. Sweet, we got this! I don't want to say I'm Kenny Pet because we jinxed ourselves. And we got a promotion. Plus three grid defense. Yeah, I'll take it. Tidal waves. Mm. But we don't need the extra power. We don't need extra power. We're full on power. So, excavation site. Protect the clinic. Defend the tanks. Ooh. Yeah, let's do defend the tanks. That sounds cool. There's two old earth tanks that will be up and running shortly after we arrive. We have to defend them. Oh no, not a vault. <sighs> okay. Um, 
Confirm that. Can I even stop this? I'm not sure I can stop that. Okay, no, I can stop this, right? Uh, I need to play it very carefully. You need to move to here. And block this tile, which moves you to here. You then punch you. Okay, right, blow up this tile, moves you to here. Punch you. Then shoot. Ah, uh, it won't work. Okay, if you move to here, then you'll get pushed into this unit and die. I think we're screwed on turn one. I think we are legit screwed on turn one. I'm trying to think of ways to do this. Uh, if I blow up this tile, you get pushed and then stop. And I can't punch you this way because you'll hit my tank. I can't move them. I think they've given me an impossible turn one. I can't kill you in place anyway because the volatile will go off. Okay. Right. Let's let's consider all permutations. I can't move you first. Because if I move you first, the only way I can shoot is here, which pushes you here. And that means that I just can't. I can't win. There's three in a row. That's impossible to beat. I can't push them sideways because they'll injure the tanks. Um, if I push you down there, you'll die. You'll take one damage. You'll still be shooting that. And I can't then shift you sideways. Oh, actually, would I be able to kill you? Right, if I if I hit you, you die, you take a damage. Blow you sideways. You come in here, shoot that one, it takes a damage, but it also takes a damage from bumping into this one. That works. There we go. Oh! Damn, that was that was complicated. That's fine. Keep hitting me. Oh, don't hit the tank. I can't punch you. Uh, I could hit you into my own unit. You have kind of got to push sideways. Um, right, okay. What we do here is I think we go here, punch you. You'll die, but you'll also injure my unit. That's fine. You then blow up here. Which pushes you behind this unit, which means you'll shoot this unit. And then you shoot that unit, which actually kill that unit. Which means you're going to take two damage. It's a lot of damage to take in one turn so early in the game, but um, I'm down. Oh, I can minimize that if I really want to. Uh, is, there, is there another permutation where we win? We shoot you. You go back to there. 
Then I punch you from here. Then maybe I drop a bomb on you and you shift that way. But you're still here. Right, no. Shoot you. You go to here. Punch you. You die. Drop a bomb on you. You get pushed. Maybe that's the best way. So you go here. And then... Boom. It doesn't mean we'll take another damage. But that'll be on the mech, which I'm fine with. The ice is almost broken. However, I don't like four of them on the field. Yes! Oh, we've tanks finally! I'm tempted to move you over the top of this and be like, you know what, I'll tank a hit. Uh... Right, these guns don't do damage, they only do push. Which actually is fine by me. Um, now, right, if I move you to here and shoot you. You go here. You're blocking that. You're no longer injuring anyone. That's great. Um, probably want to punch you. And that leaves an artillery cannon available and tanks. You know what? This is great. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna implement this already. You go here. That's that's perfect. Uh, you need to die. The only way I can really properly kill you is gonna be. Punchy, punchy. You're actually going to die from that emergence in that shot. So I don't want to injure you anymore. Um, we could get you into the sea today. One. I've cocked that up. That's what you get for not thinking. Um, undo move. Well, I'll block it instead. It's not worth me using my uh, new move. Actually, no, I can move you forwards. Aha! There we go. That's how it's done. Uh, I could move the tank to here and shoot you into you, but then you'd take too much damage. Um, actually, need you to hold out for a little bit. So, I'll instead move to here. And then emergence. Do you really want to super threaten each other like that? Fair enough. Um, I guess I could just punch them. I was thinking that I could use a tank here, push the tank with the tank, because the tanks don't do damage. But then if I want to do anything, I'm kind of constrained and there's fire here, so if this tank gets pushed, it'll die. Um... This is a relatively easy turn. I've always got my reset if I need it. So I'm just going to push you to there. And goodbye. Get the experience. Just, just push it for no reason. <laughs> yeah, take that bit of water, you suck. 
Oh, yeah. That was tough because the tanks really constrained my movement at the beginning. Not doing too badly. I think we get one more before things go south. So I think we'll go excavation stack because we want the double monies, what reputation. Do not kill the volatile Vec. Okay, I'll try. Oh, there it is. There is the volatile Vec. Fine. We'll see how this goes. Pod! Uh, see, I kind of want to move you in front of your friend's shots. And the problem is because you've trapped me. There's not much I can do. I want to do that, but that'll destroy the pod. And I've got to make sure I don't injure you too much. Because if I injure that too much, then it will really constrain my later options. On average, I can do one damage to it per round. I can move you to there. Shoot you. Then you take another damage next round. I don't really have a choice, though. I could artillery my own unit and push you away. I artillery your unit, push myself away. Either way, I'm not sure I like this. I want to get the time pod. Maybe it's worth killing the Volatile Vec for the time pod. It's one corporate rep for time pod is totally worth it. Time pod's more important, but... Urgh! Ideally, I'd blow you this way, but I can't. Go here, block your shot, and move you forwards one. Do we just take this hit? The risk of the time pod being captured by the enemy. And also, I can't do much about you. So what instead if we go, you move to there, shoot you, you take a damage, you'll take another damage here. You can then punch that to kill it, and then the artillery could... Straight up, we could tank one damage and move you forwards. Probably worth it. Secure the pod. Move you to there. Take the damage here in exchange for blocking that, which is worth it. There we go. We have to be really cautious now. That's two damage on you already, and one of our units is on one. Uh, and we're threatened again. Uh, crap. So I've got good and bad news. Um, no, no, I don't I actually don't have any. No, it's just bad news. The volatile Vec is dead because the only push I have comes from Matt Allen. Everything else is damage push. 
So if I shove you with anything else, you will die. Because even if I shove you with this, which only does one damage, I'd shove you into fire, or I'd shove you to attack a building. So I'd have to tolerate the building attack, which I won't do. So... You're dead. And then the turn you'll take fire damage. Unless I push you again, which... Again, eh. Instead, I think what I'll do is I'll push some people over some things. It's really descriptive, I know. Actually. Because you take push damage. And then... Uh... Crap. This is why I need to think it through. I didn't. I was thinking that, oh, I can push you, but actually if I push you, you'll threaten this. I don't think there is a way I can solve this now. Because of what I've done. I can't block with myself either. Because I'm on one health. Um, it's very early to reset a turn as well. I could reset the turn. But I think there are worse things to reset a turn for. So instead, I'm just going to tolerate the attack. There could be worse things coming. Oh, he resisted! Oh! I am saved. Um... So I kick you to here. Yeah, I think this is an easy one. I kick you, you die. And I punch you again. And end turn. Oh, oh yeah, you're not blocking it because of fire damage. Oh, more volatile. Hello. That's a lot of enemies. Probably should have played last turn a little bit different. Right, last turn. Move here, punch you. You shoot you. You push that one. Done. And then you'll die from fire. I almost forgot about the volatile damage. There we go. A little bit lucky there. We got the time pod, though. What's in the time pod? Reactor co- Ooh, hello. <gasps> Camilla Vera. Mech unaffected by webbing and smoke. Ooh. New pilot. Sweet. Okay, right. What can we do with that extra power? Um, extra move. Plus two health, also tempting. It means we can tank a lot more. Building's immune, also really tempting. I'm gonna say we go building's immune. Right, let's do this. Corporate HQ, destroy the scorpion leader. Scorpion leader. Uh, good amount of water though. I like it. Oh, you don't die if you go in water, do you? Because you're a leader. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Confirm. Let's see how this goes. Come on! To save the island! Uh, 
This one seems a little bit obvious to me. We shoot you back just because we can. Or maybe, oh, maybe we blow up this tile, push you into the water, push you back. And then we can just like punch you and tank something if we need to. It's too good an opportunity to pass up, I think. And then we shoot you. You take push damage. And then I think I have to tank this. Which is fine. Oh yeah, the four-way webbing. Okay, we're from a lot of directions here. What I'm thinking is we shoot our own unit, maybe. Pushes you to here, pushes you in the water. That's another kill for us. might have to walk ourselves into the fire. I can't shoot anyone. No, I don't think we will. I think we'll leave you alive for this turn. Could block one of these spawns. Again, I actually think blocking a spawn is probably worth it. That's actually really helpful because it's put the only real tile that can attack the Corporate HQ on fire, so you'll take fire damage. That's not helpful because I can't really move you. And you will insta kill that unit. I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, because I've got four health now. Ah! I did the health upgrade! Thank God! How did that happen? I thought I'd select buildings. Did I select health? I don't know. But anyway, I've got four health. This is amazing. It means we can survive this. Um, right. What I'll probably do is move you, have you punch to there so you're blocking a spawn. You're also going to get shot by your friend. That'll free you up. The thing is, I don't know how we can get out of this situation, because I can't actually physically move you. I have to wait for you to move. Which means that this building is forfeit. I can't do anything about this building. I can't actually move you. The only thing that I could do is punch, because that does two damage and a damage push. But that, no, it would still kill, because next turn if I did it again, and I can't get there anyway. Um, and I can't get too close to you. to there. And then I don't really want to do this, but I could. It would give me the kills. You'd go in the water. Actually, it's worth it. And turn. We just got to see what you do next turn. If you web me again next turn. Better. Okay. You're also... Are you volatile now? Yeah, you are volatile. 
I want to destroy Scorpion Leader for the extra rep. At the same time, I don't think there is a way we can do that. Um, okay, how do we, how do we live? The only one who can affect this is the artillery. Everyone else is too far away. What can we do with everyone else and just everyone else? Shoot you, you don't die. Can't get there with punches. Yeah. I think we have to take those buildings as losses again. It's really not great. A lot of these a lot of these turns I've had have just been there will be losses, regardless of how you play it now. The last turn was like that, this turn is like that. I don't think there is a way we can avoid it. Also, I won't have killed Scorpion Leader. Okay. Move to there. No, I can't do that. I'll damage that. Shift you to there. Can't do anything about you. Then do the punch. Maybe there'll be a resist. Maybe. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Lost so much grid. So much grid. And didn't even kill the scorpion leader. God damn it. Plus two mech HP. That promotion was so clutch. That promotion, that actually, that's why we got the HP. I thought maybe I'd clicked the wrong thing in the pregame, but no, no. If we hadn't got promoted right before we got attacked, you'd have been dead and there would be nothing I could have done about it. Absolutely zero. Okay, let's spend a rep. Damage and push. This is just a straight up better cannon. Oh, it will maybe injure buildings and stuff if we're firing behind us. Mmm, true. All mechs are immune to fire. <laughs> Couldn't airstrike any point on the map, one use per battle. Eh. Rocket fist. Punch an adjacent tile. Upgrades to launch as a projectile. Rocket fist. Okay. Reactor core. I'm thinking reactor core. And this is too complicated. I'd screw up and I'd murder myself. Or well, maximum fire, maybe. Knocking myself back is less than good. Because very few times do I actually want to move back myself somehow. I'm actually going to either take another reactor core or just take three grid power. 
I think we don't need three. I think we can just get by with a reactor core. Yeah. Taking our reactor core. And then we could get plus two health, we get plus one move, we could get dash. Dash punch. Pretty tempting. Extra damage. I'm going to say I want to try Dash Punch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. But for now, I've been Etna Realistium. If you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.